feel like I'm leaning towards Lazel. Lazel offers a speed effect that we don't have, like they can just get bored on a level and move past it. So all those places where we have to put out fires and stuff, Lazel is just like, nah, I'm done with this, and then moves on to the next level. Uh, also solid buff, Tadpole, and a, tad and a party that has some Tadpoles already. So we've got a Starion already, we've got a Carlock already. We're gonna go Lazel. What we're doing now really is just fleshing out extra champions. Extra champions. Uh, other option, more options to, to use as we progress. All right, uh, speed run, 125, that's going to be fine. Uh, and we just hit, oh my god, seriously. What are you doing? Why did you take me back here? Why did you just do that? What game? What are you doing? Why did why did suddenly we have Strahd again? I don't understand. Stop it. I've never seen it just take over completely like that. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely the Monday reset stuff, but I just, that was new. Now then, this is up here now. Okay, well, whatever. Mm -hmm. oh, Worm Slayer chest. All right, go away. I just, um, okay. everything's delayed. Everything is, has a delay on it. Okay, okay. Another time gate piece. All right. Uh, sure. We're not. Uh, it's not going to be the most optimal. Already, we're not going to get speed effects going. We may as well just run it. It's not going to matter. All right. Uh, what's doing its thing? I'm gonna enter in codes. Or electrons from, uh, now in the weekend. Uh, I did claim War Duke already, so we also have War Duke in our, uh, in our bench now. You can see from the War Duke chests over here. Hey, Moses. Mm. Well, on this account, it's War Duke. They're known as War Duke. My main account, they're known as War Duck. Because they're clearly a duck. Clearly a duck. Uh, I only have four Electrums. Oh, no. It's going to be... It's going to be answering. We might need, we might need a potion. Okay, we're just gonna we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Oh, hey, I am. Um... Ran out of root beer, and so did the store. Literally, they had no cans or two liters of mug root beer in the store yesterday. Don't know why. Never seen that happen before. Never seen that happen before. All I had left in the fridge was a, was a little baby bottle of Sprite I got for free from something. <laughs> that and white water today. Drank so much as a kid I can't do root beer anymore. I don't know. That's how I feel about like things like Mountain Dew and Dr. Pepper. Well, that and the fact that I don't do caffeine anymore. But 
Mountain Dew, I just, there was a point where I drank so much of it when I was younger that I just, I can't go near it anymore. I think it's like some people when they have like that bad reaction in college to having alcohol for the first time, like tequila usually, and then they'll never drink tequila again. I just drink so much Mountain Dew that it's like, I can't have it anymore. My body just it doesn't, it just, there was a certain point where I just was like, no, this doesn't taste good anymore. Then I switched to Dr. Pepper. And then I drank all the Dr. Pepper. You need 3,000 gold chest. What? Wait, what? Three thousand gold chests would mean you need a hundred epics. Thirty epics is is a lot less. That's three hundred. Okay, that's three hundred gold chests. Okay, I was just I was like three thousand. A lot of gold chests. I mean, I opened 3,000 chests on my main account. 3,000 gold chests between events. But <laughs> I was just like, doesn't make any sense to me. Oh, well, we're, she can't rush on that. I mean, it is what it is. He'll go through it just fine. We got through all of mine. All right, so we have our shops back open. We have our currency. So there's another time gate piece. It registers that it does. Land a modron chest. Find it, please. Land a modron chest. Even we're down to very little currency, which is fine because we're going to earn about 10,000 of it this week off just off uh, doing our chores. And we're only spending 7,500. Look at that. Strahd can give us a chest. There we go. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to keep it. Nice and low, like that. Now we're back up to eight time gate pieces. <laughs> well, we can't do another manual time gate because we need to unlock a champion on Wednesday. Uh, the second we get our, our next drop, I mean, if we just got our drop today, we'd have it, what, Friday or Saturday for the next manual time gate? We're getting to the point where we're going to be able to run a, time, a manual time gate every week. That's where we are now. We have four patrons unlocked, and we loot two every time it drops. So, hydrate. Yeah, right. yeah, Rebel. I mean, that's you'll be getting your. Trying to get full epics is going to have to come out of, uh, for event champions, it's going to have to come out of, like, patron chest, which I have a long way to go for that on this account. Uh -huh. Evergreens is, I mean, they only release, like, one of those a year, so. I don't, MC, I don't know. You just have to go try them. Uh... There's no way for anybody to tell you that. You're at the you're at a point in the game where there's no way for people to answer that question. Not truthfully. People will try to give you answers and act like they know what they're talking about, but but no one can really know. Except you. You just have to go try it. Okay, we need to go to our other party and have it start doing something. Other than just generic farming, we need to give it a task. Give it a task. 
So straw, challenges, a shara makos tyrol, that'll have to be overnight. A shara DPS, okay, that's what we can do that. So DPS. Go back to where we're done. Wait, oh dang it. Too late. Let me see, uh Oh, we need it undead. Good. That'll be fine. I was like, do we need undead? Okay. Because it was in Terror in the Dark. Any roll with advantage last week for my channel points? Um, so, I feel like you weren't paying attention. <laughs> we got the group got inspiration. And then you gave me inspiration. And I asked, I tried to ask uh, behind the scenes if inspiration stacks. So we'll find out. I don't, I don't know. But I didn't make any rolls using my any of my inspirations last week because it was, my rolls are basically already done. And I was rolling like fire last week anyway. I was hitting everything. So... Uh, well, I don't know. It's up to the Dungeon Master uh, if you want to be able to collect more than one Inspiration. Because of the fact that they have it available for channel points, I'm hoping it can build up, but... Um, but um, do I want to spell... I didn't even use any. I didn't use any last week. <laughs> I literally... All I cast last week was a cantrip over and over again. That's all I did. Uh, I was very fortunate that all the enemies were targeting someone other than me. Because uh, if I had gotten hit with some of that damage, I'd have probably found a fell over. You were, no, I'm a wizard. <laughs> but I don't have... I, I talked about Bandy's spells on this channel. I gave everybody a preview. He doesn't have damage spells. <laughs> he has a, a damage cantrip. And that's it. He is not a he is not somebody who who kills people usually. Uh, unlocked Elminster, nice cash. Clues, I tried to open the fourth dragon out of it, flex slot out the game, took three time gate pieces, but I tried to take three more if I click a champion in that slot again. I would submit a ticket. That sounds like a bug. Yeah, I got E103 favor for the first time on my main account. It's a new account game. Never. Truly. Never. We're never getting that far on this account. The account will not exist that long. I mean, I was shocked when they entered it when uh, Steven said, the Dungeon Master said that Oh, we expect people this to be like a level one through three campaign. Like, so we're leveling up at some point. I was not expecting that. I was like, oh, okay. I thought it was going to be level one for ten episodes. I don't, I don't know if we were getting a level up or not. So I got to think about how he's going to level up. Six more chance to reach fifty. Mm. Node for Zer node you gotta do uh, if you want to unlock patron Zeriel, you need to complete Baldur's Gate Descent into Avernus the storyline campaign so El Terrell's Last Stand is the adventure Barbarian kept hitting it yeah Smalley was uh, upset <laughs> Smalley was very upset and then uh, the, the the stepsister, or the half sister, also hitting like a barbarian. A druid was hitting like a barbarian. I don't know that it would get boring staying at level one. It's just, I mean, that's up to the story, right? The story. It's about the story, not so much about whether you're leveling up or not. 
do you have the tools you need to complete things? And again, it's this isn't a full campaign. This is ten episodes. You're, you're thinking that he assumed, and and not thinking about the fact that we've been talking about this in a private chat for a while. So, I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe he did, but but he's been in contact with all of us by in a in a chat and also in emails. So. Is my weekly buff useful? I don't know. I didn't. I haven't reset for it. King of Thieves. I don't know what you're. I don't know what you're trying to ask. You just listed off a bunch of champions, but there's no actual question there. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it, it, look, I, people are... j Dog. all I can tell you is it's the Dungeon Master's job to say stuff and other people to correct them if it's wrong with their character. And if, if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. If it does, it does. You move forward. This isn't, a, this isn't scripted. <laughs> this is people just playing Dungeons & Dragons, so... <laughs> The one after. Hmm. Oh, the characters. This is Shandy. Hero Baldur's Gate. I didn't understand. Yeah, there was no actual question there. <laughs> I didn't understand what you were trying to do there. And that's a whittle with a W. That's all it also threw me off. I was like. I'm just going to run. Uh... I'm gonna run this potion out. I we don't have a lot of electrums. We have four at the moment. Um, I have an ungeared. I have a completely ungeared uh, war duke sitting down here. Who's gonna suck up electrums? Uh, we're about to have a, a completely ungeared Lazel, and then on Wednesday we're gonna have an ungeared Merylwyn. Uh, I, gotta, I gotta get some Electrums here. It's 
MC, uh, MC, I am not here for you to complain to about the game performance. I just want to be clear. But saying, see, saying things like, uh, nee, they need to fix their game, it can't use more CPU and GPU than WoW and, and CS2 using together. Uh, that's that's a definitively not a true statement. It absolutely can, because it's doing different things. This is a math game. It's trying to process math, and, and it's using Unity as a base. And Unity is not a great place to try to do a math game. It's what they use, though, and they and they you know, they make it work. But it absolutely can use more CPU. Now I don't know why it would be using your GPU. It doesn't really use much of mine, but it uses the hell out of all my CPU cores. I wish it would use more of my GPU. I wish it would lean more into that. Frankly, I got GPU to spare. But you're you're trying to compare the two different types of games, like completely different types of games. Three, technically. Uh, so that that statement's just not accurate. You you don't want it to do more than that. You think it should be simpler. It's not. It's not. Did I try to put in my 10 slot? Uh, 10's got a lot of options. Uh, so we're down here. I mean, I I think Astarian's pretty strong, both for pushing power and gold find, but... Um, you could also grab, like, a Virgil if you want a speed champion there. Uh, eventually you'll be able to unlock an Alcoria, but I wouldn't necessarily wait around for that. Yeah, I mean, I think Astorian's a strong pick out of 10 currently. If you're going to manually time gate somebody, uh, I don't think there was a 10 in this event. No, 11 and 12, 9, 11, and 12. It danced around it. And then the next event, uh, Founder's Day. No. Not of the ones we know. I don't know who the two final ones will be, but not the ones we know. Yeah, the Bard's Forge, I, it doesn't surprise me. You, you're probably using champions that are like, well, here's the thing, like the, if on starter champions, they use a lot less, uh, they make the game work a lot less hard than the other champions that have a lot going on, like multiplicatively stacking stuff, debuffs. Debuffs are horrible. The more debuffers you have in your party, the slower your game is going to run and the more it's going to be taxing your computer. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, I mean, I'm calling. I have no idea. I haven't done that in so long. I have no idea. Uh, Havilar is a, a solid tank. She's not amazing. But once you have all, all three of them, then that means Mahen can pull Havilar and Frida anywhere Mahen can go. So you get some... Get some interesting functionality by having all the brimstone angels, but they're not like super strong currently. And yes, Diana does more to level up your core than Nornum. 
fortunately we have Nordum too. I was gonna park Nordum in the back and then is it? And then we just never did. I don't know why. I don't know why I never used it. I think it was initially it was because of familiars. Now I, I don't know. I don't know what the reasoning is. I don't know that there is a reasoning now. All right, Moses, thanks for hanging out. I didn't put the top back on. That was silly. Yeah, I know there's a, there was a Nordum. Yeah, the Nordum event buff. Mm. Oh, number did I get? I did. So triple toolbox. I mean, it's it's nice. The problem is I I don't know if triple is faster at leveling the core than Diana right now, but I mean, we could we could try. I just don't necessarily want to put him in the background party because I want to, I, if I was going to use him somewhere, I'd want to level up my main, my fast core. I don't want my modest core outpacing, and yet they're kind of, like the fast core is caught up, but they seem to be roughly equal lately. It doesn't make any sense to me. You should be outpacing it by a long, by a long shot. Well, IBM Call, you have to have, he's got to have a lot of item levels, <laughs> clearly. And we're talking, I'm talking about a fairly basic Morgan. He's got 25 items. I'm shocked. I'm shocked that Nordum got 25 item levels and the Epic. He starts out very, very low. But the thing is, is like investing item levels on Nordum usually isn't worth it. And Diana would be a better place to put those. Yeah, actually putting them in, in a background party with a magic core might be a very good idea. I could get my magic core up to... Ooh, I actually like that better than, than using them here, frankly. The problem is I only have one familiar. Hmm. Actually, I don't. Yeah, I don't think I have the familiars to make it happen. I don't know. I would need three familiars because he can't wave clear on his own. So I need one on the field, one on click damage, one on him. So I'd have to strip one. I'd have to strip two out of here, which I could do. I guess. I don't know. Oops. Just strip three out. And put him back. Here. Not in a patron because I. Actually worried he might not. I don't think he qualifies for all patrons. Yes, bring him over here. 
2021 is complete. Oh, that's, I don't remember a check mark. Is that new? He's going to come in here. Eventually he's going to stop. Interesting. Ah, so... Uh, I'm try to pull away from millions. Got a lot of you know, like going on with this. I just didn't have used an hour. Apparently, I should have used 15 minutes. I didn't realize we were that we were at that point and in our progress. I know that it's a problem. I understand how I understand how background parties work. Or it's for. I don't, I'm not going to have, I will go, what's going to happen is it's going to, when it stops, there's going to be an exclamation point. It's going to tell me that a background party stopped. I'm, I'm going to go over that. I'm going to manually reset it. I, I don't want it in an active party. I'm not, I'm not wasting my time with it in an active party. <laughs> Tune in early from Mars on Friday. Why? Something, something going on. I didn't even know about. No one told me there was. I mean, it's, it's just, it's different than Mars's guiding hand. I mean, it's just, it's just Mar isn't it just Mars's guiding, or is it an interview show like Mars on Monday used to be? I don't know. No one told me that it was going to be anything different, so. But probably not. How many shows does Mars have? Not as many as he used to. How's that? That was an answer. Oh, it's not my job to keep track of Mars' show. It's the show is Lauren's. gotten three silver Lazelle chests so far. Take as many as we can get. I feel he's doing 95. Well, they hired that's they hired him to stream. That was initially his job. He has since gotten other jobs, so they have had to not have him on as many shows because he needs time to do his other jobs now, but but he was hired to stream the game. That was, that was literally his, that was what they hired him to do. And Mars, Mars has got a hand used to be pretty much like, what, four days a week? Um, and then his, and then other appearances in other shows, so...
And then Sean started streaming and liked streaming, so... When they needed a community manager, went to... Decided he wanted to try to do that, and now, now he streams a lot under that, uh, like, as, as the community manager. But that's... You know, kind of the bulk of what CNE sees is community management, it feels like. Six times a week? No. It might have been five days a week, and then the second thing on Monday was Mars on Monday. Hence, hence it being called Mars on Monday. I thought, but I always thought just, I thought it was just Mars on Monday, and then the other days was Mars has got me. Yeah, I don't, I don't know that there was... So I think it was, I think Mars has got a hand was like four days. Well, you'd have to ask Mars. Don't ask me. I'm not Mars's keeper. But, <laughs> I, but I thought it was usually like four days a week. And then he used to have Mars has got a hand on Mondays, Monday afternoons. But then they got away from streaming on Mondays, period. Because they have so many meetings on Mondays, usually to start the week off, that they didn't want to take, they didn't want people having to miss meetings because they were streaming. That's my understanding. My understanding doesn't mean that's what it was. Just my understanding of the conversations around that. I mean, that's one of the reasons I streamed on Mondays and Wednesdays was because I knew on Mondays there wasn't any idle champ. There weren't any idle champion streams. But I streamed idle champions on Mondays and Wednesdays. Wednesdays because event day. Wednesdays because event day. And it's only we only do it five days a week right now because new account. Normally, normally we don't stream Idol Champions all the time. Usually it's just Mondays, Wednesdays, and then Tuesday, uh, Friday, Saturday is other games. Speaking of tomorrow, we'll be streaming Republic of Pirates. We're gonna try that out. Hopefully, it's good enough for a whole day of streaming. <laughs> That's that's the plan for tomorrow is to just stream Republic of Pirates. Kind of getting near the wall for the speed group. Feels like. Good to know we can just speed run up into the 400s. Pretty solid. Off no favor, I want to add. <laughs> we have no favor in this time gate. So far we've earned E13. Yeah, Modron chests always roll bad. It's not just you. Big number. Oh, actually. 
That's oh two. We want directed T's and directed crosses. This was all garbage. Ooh. Oh, but it's coming from the top. I don't know that we really need that. We'll probably need it somewhere. And, and, oh, oh, I got two. Oh, that's the worst. In from the top and the bottom, out from the sides. This is pointless. At least I got these two. I don't know that I got any streamer life. I don't know that those are useful. But any of the crosses I got were useful. In all honesty, I don't I don't know that they are. I really don't think they are. Not for what I'm currently trying to pipe out. Maybe a maybe a motor core eventually, but again, this isn't this isn't an eventually account. Like if it's not functional for me now, then why do I have it? We're not we're not gonna be here forever. Yeah, in out from the top, in in from the top and bottom, out from the sides is just as bad as in from the sides and out from the top and the bottom. Like there just isn't a scenario where that really works out. <laughs> that you're like, oh, that's exactly what I need. I mean, it's not a not a thing. I've never had, even on my main account, I've never been able to bring myself to turn it into component pieces, but it feels like a viable option. <laughs> feels like a viable option. Who dad? Hey, no, Dryad. Create a core with two sources of. Don't give them that idea. I don't know how that would work. I'm not sure. I want to find out. Actually, whatever you need to try to feed them into a second type. Exactly, and that's what makes those. That's what makes those those uh, two cro types of crosses uh, just super stupid. Like the only scenario that they would work in is if they somehow, if, as if the flow lo loops back into itself, which makes them useless. Hey, Neuromancer. Thank you. 
we're basically done. We cleared 500. We got five silvers. Oh, do we need anything else? Okay. Alright, we've recruited recruited Lazel. 